Good day everyone! Welcome back sa Math Husay General Math Tutorial. Sa video ng ito, pag-uusapan natin ang pagkakaiba ng exponential equations sa exponential inequalities at exponential functions. Let's start! Ang exponential expression is an expression of the form a times b raised to x minus c plus d, where b must be greater than 0 and b must not be equal to 1. Ang halimbawa ng exponential expression ay 5 raised to x. 5 raised to x minus 5. So, yung ating base dito ay yung 5. Yung exponent naman natin ay x minus 5. And lastly, 3 raised to x plus 1 ay isa ring halimbawa ng exponential expression. Ano ba ang pagkakaiba ng exponential function sa equation at inequality? So, Ang exponential equation is an equation involving exponential expression. Halimbawa, you have 3 raised to x plus 1 equals 3 raised to 5. This is an example of exponential equation. So, pag sinabi naman natin exponential inequality, it is an inequality involving exponential expression. So, meron tayong exponential expression na 5 raised to 2x minus 5 raised to x plus 1 which is less than or equal to 0. So, this example is an exponential inequality. So, madaling mag-identify ng inequality, exponential inequality. So, you have to bear in mind, meron tayong symbol na less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, greater than, less than, or not equal to. So, last naman natin pag-uusapan ay yung exponential function. So, sa naunang video na pag-usapan natin na ang exponential function is a function of the form f of x is equal to b raised to x na kung saan yung b natin ay yung base at yung x natin is the exponent. And that your b must be greater than 0 and must not be equal to 1. Halimbawa ng exponential function is f of x is equal to 1.8 raised to x. So, this is an exponential function kasi yung base naman natin is greater than 0 and it's not equal to 1. So, the next example is g of x equals 7 raised to x minus 3. So, madali lang again mag-identify ng exponential equation, inequality, at function. Pag equation, tandaan natin, meron tayong equal sign. Madaling mag-identify niyan. So, basta nag involve siya ng equation na kung saan may exponential expression. Inequalities naman, so, makikita natin siya na may mga inequality symbol. Less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, or not equal to. And lastly, yung ating exponential function. Na alam na natin kung paano mag-identify. Let's take this example. Determine whether the given is an exponential function, an exponential equation, an exponential inequality, or none of these. Number 1, 2 raised to x minus 2 equals 64. Ang example na ito ay exponential equation. Obviously, dahil meron tayong equality sign. At meron tayong mga exponential expression. For number 2, the f of x equals 3 x to the fourth power is not an exponential function. Di porket may f of x yan, e exponential function yan. So, what's the reason behind? 
take note, yung base natin, which is x, is not a number, but a variable. So, ang answer natin dito is none of these. Number 3, g of x is equal to 7 raised to 4x. If your answer is an exponential function, then you are right. Kasi yung base natin is greater than 0 and not equal to 1. So ang base natin dito is 7, right? So ang exponent naman natin ay 4 x kaya exponential function example number 4 3 raised to x plus 1 greater than 243 so obviously this is an exponential in a quality so ganun lang kadaling mag-identify ng exponential function exponential equation at exponential inequality. Now, this time, determine whether the given is an exponential function, an exponential equation, an exponential inequality, or none of these. So, if you're done with these exercises, you can share your answers on the comment section. Kung nakatulong ang math husay, math tutorial na mas maintindihan ninyo ang pagkakaiba ng exponential function, exponential equation, at exponential inequality, give this video a thumbs up, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Remember, ang sikreto para maging math husay, matuto, at mag -insayo. Watch the next episode and learn how to solve exponential equation. See you next week. Bye!